Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Stitching Sunday. Uh, here is what we stitched with you a long time ago. <laughs> uh, that's how much I managed to stitch. I did video. Uh, I don't remember how I started this uh, design. It was gifted to me by Bonnie. Thank you so much dear. And I really want to finish this one. So uh, I did not start it because I want to do this with you right on camera right now. I already threaded my needle that came with this design and all the beads I have them kind of on a tray like this. As you can see we have uh, six colors so I have to pay attention because uh, like I have to get used to it to symbols not too messed up and um, like the lightest the number two will be like I put them in order from lightest to darker as you can see and this is like color number one then we have like a orange but with empty space kind of in the center and these two symbols are very similar kind of hard to see them without camera uh, so this is number two number three number four number five and number six so that's our colors uh, here's how I'm going to start. I have a thread in here, a long thread. It's like two meters long, if not longer, because I don't want to re-thread too often. So hopefully we're not going to get like all tangled up and everything. Here's how I'm going to start. Okay. Um, kind of tension. Not, okay, let me pull the tension a little bit. Okay. I will wait because this fabric is double sided because there's a um, usually Ukrainian designs and this is from Ukraine um, have this fabric um, we call flazeline I don't know how this would be an English word but the extra fabric that you iron kind of well it came already like this but it's like a stuff on a on a back of this canvas kind of nice and fluffy kind of to keep this tap fabric more uh, in place so I'm putting right now this thread between these two fabrics and I'm just going to hide my tail in here so it's not visible my tail right there I'm coming out from here and now I'm just going to create a few of the stitches up and down. Okay. Then go. I literally can just go up and down, up and down to the top of my fabric. Okay, let me just put this tail and I need a little bit lower so my thread spread a little bit shorter for now okay so I will do a couple more times just to make sure my thread is secure better you can literally put the knot on the end of your thread if you wish I'm just going to stitch up and down just so I want to get to my first stitch in here so I will do this way and it's going to be nice secure I'm not going to lose my beads today is February 8th it's my and husband anniversary and he went to the shop of course job is a job have to work so I'm home alone right now with my furry friends Catherine at school my son went to a gym for workout okay now I'm going to start and this is my the most darkest color 
so I'm going to pick up the bead and I'm sorry you're not going to see beads have I picking I don't know if that's important for you to see or not uh, if you want to see that I will have to zoom out so that way you're not going to see good placement of the beads and I believe in here we have size 10 usually Ukrainian designs uh, use check beads number 10 I, oh my goodness puppy I'm sorry it's body moved downstairs he's sleeping by the front door and one puppy is yappy since <laughs> I don't know which one I think it's probably my prince with the purple color every time some extra noise he would bark because must be scare him because he was sleeping so okay he's not gonna bark anymore if you jump <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry so yesterday we got the visitor we chit chat for a couple of days through the KGG messenger and they show up yesterday and my favorite puppy sold mm, they just give like um, some money so I can hold so they for sure they will come and get it right uh, but the reason why I decided that he will be a good well first of all you know I still have two other puppies well right now I have all three of them because I will babysit my bear for another two weeks uh, because this young gentleman he will go on vacation and he asked if I could keep him because he would love to well he go on vacation and he don't want to go right away and put puppy on a pen for somebody to watch right and so he say I would love to go on vacation and then I will take like a good time off to spend time and bond with puppy and I really like that so I will uh, okay just a minute double check yes correct uh, so I say absolutely no problem it would be my pleasure to have him more because he is my soulmate well him and purple kind of now but uh, white puppy him and there's the other one that sold a long time ago they were two first one that absolutely fall in love with me and it's just keep on cuddling and cuddling to me like non-stop right so I will tell you some stories about yesterday um, there is some interesting facts and uh, <laughs> surprises that shock me all the time since they step in the house and even before from chatting but I will tell you the story in some other time I need to ask first permission if I can share some of this our conversations so if he say yes I will tell you okay I'm trying to get to like right in the dark dots you see those dots that's where your needle have to go so yes I'm still have my bear with me for two weeks and I thought okay I still have my purple here because yes as much as I would love to keep the white puppy because he is super special he probably have some kind of cream gold retriever in his blood that Daisy or body maybe had somewhere down the road um, in the family trees because even his tail a little bit longer and he's just unique color right so oh now he's dreaming see it was pretty much quiet before I 
start record video. Okay, hold on. Now important not to miss in here because in this one, this is another one. See, it's a two different. See, oh, on the camera I can see much better than I would see in real. Okay, I think I'm. I picked the wrong color now. So I have to pay attention. This one is for. Okay, no, no, no. Now I need this yellow. This one for the dark orange. Kind of like a full coverage orange, and there is not full coverage orange, and that's what kind of confuses me sometimes. Till I stitch more, then I kind of more used to, it to the colors. Yeah, probably would be easier to stitch first by the color, so kind of like your eye. Uh, get used to, to one color and go like cross uh, country stitching, right? But uh, it's just going to be threads all over. Well, it's not very visible on the other side because the threads are so uh, thin and it's the, um, yeah, this kind of titan. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But I like how coverage showing like in full stage the coverage. Like it's to me it's kinda satisfying evil even to touch. Okay. I didn't beat for a long time and it feels, you know, it's, it's always fun. It needs more patience and you need to be very careful not to spill your beads, of course. Thank you so much, Bonnie, for this gift. I think it was from my birthday gift and I love it a lot. I will show you the full picture on the end of this video with creating more of the progress. So I still have a few days to stitch. Because today, eight. What is that? Thursday. Um, yeah, Thursday. Today, Thursday. See, so I still have a Friday and Saturday to stitch. If you never try beaded cross stitch. You should definitely try it and I think I just tangle up my thread in here. Very tricky. So usually it's easy just to stick your needle inside. Okay, you can see now inside of this loop and just find a thread which one exactly and pull it all the way to the needle. Pull it out and just stretch it. But it's good when you have a frame like this, so you kind of control and you're holding the thread in your hands. It just, I took ridiculously long needle. Oh, long thread, sorry. Yeah, you, you can do definitely much shorter, will be easier to stitch. I'm just lazy. I want to finish this, like, not to re-thread too often, so. I decided to work with very long one. This fabric that I have beads on, this one, I bought at Michael's store. I think it was like two in a pack. Uh, I was hoping to find uh, like a bigger size of the fabric but that was just only small squares.
squares. Hold on, look at this orange one. Beautiful day today. Grass is green. And on the other hand, in Nova Scotia, covered with snow. Oh my God. My husband showed me a picture his friend sent him because he lived there. It's to the roof. And with the wind, pulling snow, and all those snow banks. Oh my God, the houses cover it. Everything is shut down up there. And one of the pictures he showed me, when we went on vacation last summer, I took picture of that bridge with that sign, so I know it's there, and it's covered halfway, almost to the like to the top. It's crazy. I say, like how people up there survive and how they get food, or like there's no way to even. Well, definitely, there's no way to drive car up there. But how you get to even to the store, everything is shut down. So I guess to live up there, you have to prepare your fridge and food storage area for the winter. Because if you're stuck like this, that's it. Oh, oh for heaven's sake, how I manage to tangle up just like this, one of the ends, kind of. What? And what? I cannot... What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? How does it happen? Okay, I have to cut. Okay, this one. I need to find out which one. Okay, so this one. What? What? Oh, where's my scissors? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I made a boo boo. Now, how do we get? Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. How we tingle like that? Just a uh, half of the threads been separated. I don't know, you probably could wax this thread just for the extra security. Okay. Um, no, not yellow, orange. I just have to really pay attention and always support my thread from the top and pull from the front. Take time, but the more coverage you're doing, it's getting more and more interesting. And this design is partial. You can see that in my whips. Of 2023 I was showing everything that I own I think when I count uh, I still have to like recheck but I think I have a 50 or 50 uh, what is it 49 50 or 51 oh see I forgot already again anyway 50 okay let's just put that way 50 design one plus or minus something like that Okay, uh, this design, I have to always kind of check, okay, it's a golden brown. When I stitch these three darkest beads, not to have more confused, I can put right away this one way back into the bag because I don't have here for a while of this color so not to have them on my tray just for in case they decide to spill you know you never know um, so it would be like easier 
one color less on a board would be easy to recognize another color. There is some winter design by Joy Sunday. Maybe you remember, and some of you have the design fully in beads, uh, which you can order from Ukraine. It's a beautiful frosty looking, probably morning, like a, you can see village far away in the background. I think there is a bird up there sitting on a tree and it's all designed kind of beautiful blue colors, looks so frosty. And I always thinking about the design because I do have that in cross stitch, but I would love to beat the design. To beat the design, I need lots of shades of blue beads, which I don't have this many of the shades. Maybe I will try to do... Okay, hold on, I need to untangle my thread. To untangle my thread, usually I drop down my needle to the floor and kind of pull my threads to let them loose. Okay. And now we have the lightest color next time when I will go back home I will try to find some stores to buy more beaded designs I should order some from Amazon I think they do have some stores in Amazon created one row and guess what we already in 23 minutes exactly wow it, yeah as you can see if this is one row take me 23 minutes well plus this kind of chit chat well we kind of started right away almost so can you imagine how many hours need to stitch this design Lots of fun. So as you can see, uh, this row, when I go from my right to left, my stitches go from top corner to the bottom corner. And when I will go the other way, kind of at automatically changes to bottom row to the top okay we go to our next sometimes I stitch twice edge but I want to do something maybe I will do something different maybe I will turn my beads in different position after I stitch we'll see and uh, you know how to change position of your beads Right now, they're looking on an angle, right? It's like a half stitches. So when you, later, after you stitch, um, you put thread and you go through the whole row of beads, like this. Go through each bead. And when you stitch them, you see, they line up horizontal, everyone. So you want to choose how you want your beads to layer angle or straight 
so that's kind of like give you a totally different uh, look of the beads so yeah that's just a little tiny trick that you can take into your bucket <laughs> little tip from me so at this point I don't know if I want to do that or not so I will completely finish first and then I will decide if I want to do them horizontal or not See, now it's just the way it's layered and it's going to make a sense for me to do from the bottom to the top. Last night I was doing a little bit of my crystal diamond paintings. Uh, didn't do much, but still finished a couple of colors. Yeah, so uh, if you watch my diamond paintings of crystal, and if you pay attention to what I write in, uh, in a description box or pinned comment, I mentioned that I ran out of one color. Uh, so I contacted store and was waiting for a while if they would reply or not because it is a Lunar New Year started for them, spring celebration. Lots of stores closed and not answering. But I received an answer yesterday. Um, and I did explain what happened plus I don't know if I will run out some other colors or not because so far I have like a leftovers good amount of each color so this is, could be just a human error you know uh, that mistakenly place less beads and also uh, there is going to be more little adjustments that I need to tell them uh, hold on, that's not this bead I need. Okay, orange. I need to... Well, also I pointed out uh, they could look for a better supplier for a black diamonds for this particular kind of diamonds. So I, I requested that. And so far, the one more color that I finished last night uh, beads, little bit different sizes, some of them wider, some of them smaller, and they kind of fit a little bit too tight with each other. So I, I did manage to finish, and I still have lots of beads left, so that wasn't kind of problem, I still finish normally, but definitely they need to change the color of the diamonds as well to a better quality. So little by little I will guide them and they will change because they, they really do care about their product and always trying to do better so I'm just waiting right now till I finish the whole thing to see if I will uh, find any other problems or not and then of course I will be able to share with you okay I think this one is orange and the other one is number two color oh no beads beads almost forgot to pick up the bead Yeah, I took way too big thread, too long, not too big, too long.
this week you have lots of videos from me oh my goodness I almost like feels like every almost every day I think I have like two videos maybe just a few days that is um, like single plus today I posted in Facebook group that uh, Heaven Earth Design have free chart beautiful fairy I think uh, I download it because I like this kind of designs will I ever stitch or not who knows but <laughs> I love the design and I download it so I share the link so you don't miss the chance to have a beautiful design for free I think is it 80 like over 80 colors can't remember exactly okay that's not the color that I need see I talk too much how about the other one okay I need to talk less okay that's not the color that I need all right if happen like this too, you can crash bead and just restitch it. I will pull it out. I supposed to put in here two of the lightest color. See, that's what happened when you duck. Oh, come on. Okay, kitchen is right away. Okay, now I just need to re-thread. Hopefully it will go smoothly. And my thread will tangle up. Hold on, let me just untangle it. Okay, so as you can see, look for your, see like it's fluffing up. To, for the best to re-thread, cut it out, that fluffy stuff. And you can make it even like a flat thread. I will do, you know what I will do? You can use your teeth to make this make this flat I will use maybe wax if it is gonna work yeah I think it will work hold on oh okay all of a sudden I have a very heavy chest okay let, let me retry that I will be right back Okay, sorry about that. Just had to stop and have some water drink. I don't know, it was kind of a weird, tight chest. And I was thinking, oh my God, what if I dive right now and I did not finish my cross stitch yet? <laughs> Whew, okay. That was weird. Yeah, so that's the color I need this light but the way dream nest I did not change my threads here for the beads we will do it because I didn't went too far away yet which probably would be totally fine if I didn't even change them nobody know it's the flowers colors it's every flower different there's no perfect every petal is you know different shading okay some of you probably saw this mistake okay how many of you saw a mistake you were screaming to stop me raise your hands
Okay, now number two. <clears throat> Number two, number okay, this one. Body stop. I don't wanna pop is still barking again. Because he decided to scratch himself by the door. I can't believe we have like a spring like weather. That is amazing. For a February, pretty good. I pre-recorded so many videos for you, my friends. As soon as I start feeling better, well, yesterday was rough, I would say again, but I have fully covered this week. Well, besides this Sunday that I'm doing right now, right, where is the eight? Next week I have video oh hold on what am I? yeah yeah okay not next week this one week sunday well have you consider my week start from monday <laughs> in canada from sunday kind of so i have video for every day already this week for you to watch some will be two videos per day and then I have already three videos for next week. And I'm still going to record more. Possible today if I will have a time. Because there's nowhere we can go for romantic dinner. Because of puppies. My life stopped for four. <gasps> Wait a minute. You know what I just... Oh my goodness. It's not only my anniversary today. The puppy was born on 8th. So it's their celebration for one more month too. Woohoo! <laughs> so they are four months now. Yes, big puppies. Big. Oh, all done. My lovely husband, Colin, I have to answer. Let's do a little bit more beating. Okay, I have to step a little bit. So, okay, now. Uh, orange, orange. Okay, so I just received message from the new owner of my bear puppy, and now I know his name. His name will be Kono. K O N O. Kono. I never heard this name before. What does it mean? Is this something from the movies or anybody? know what the mean Kono? I have no idea. Or this is just a, like a name about nothing? <laughs> I don't know. Interesting name. Will take me probably for a while to remember. But at least now I can start to call him this name to get him used to. Okay. Now, that's not a mistake. <laughs> I have to pay attention what I'm doing in here. Well, I hope you're having a fun with me. Stitching. Any of you stitching beaded? Stitching these days or no? Last time I bead stitch when that was well, probably my project that I was doing, or oh, that was a cross stitch, no beaded stitch. Oh, oh, that was a cross stitch with the beads in the mix. It's a Christmas ornament that we have 
uh, for the winter season of whips. Yeah, that was just a little bit, not much of the beads at all. Okay, don't tell me. Oh no, it's good, it's good. I thought I already tingled again. So I will finish this row with you and then stitch a little bit more. Maybe we'll stitch a little bit more or I'm just going to show you the finish. Well, I'm not going to finish, but uh, at least like more progress. But you know what I will do here? I think I will purposely stitch this three darkest one now so I don't have these beads anymore on my mat and that will be more easy for me to concentrate on the colors that they need instead of have some extra and make mistake you know goodness I almost stabbed my cat and I had this needle he's sleeping like right next to me on a sofa like on the edge and that's a long swing of the arm with the long thread I touch his fur okay I have to be careful there's furry friends all over here This is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna stitch this three darker one right now. So I will go. Oh, hold on, I have to come out from under the thread first. So I will jump for the top one first in here. I just do now. I could do like just a few. <laughs> stitches back you know but uh, that's okay we will do now so I can get rid of them it's look it's it's an interesting color of the bead look very dark brown but uh, no you cannot see it kind of feels like a um, glue to it, not the glue, I cannot explain, it's an interesting color of the beads not sure what would be DMC code, if that would be thread dark dark brown alright, I put way too many of these dark beads on my mat without looking on design, I just pour like each color and then I realize why would I do this many if it's just a little bit in here so all this time we stitch and we stitch with you only two rows and they are not very long or I am too slow or this is really not fast project okay one more bit and now cat trying to catch my thread oh my goodness kitty cat don't even start don't even start shadow trying to catch it like that and then i <laughs> shadow don't touch my thread funny the big fluffy paw 
trying to catch it. Okay, so now I'm going to start my new row. I'm just going to make a start and we'll continue and I will come back to you and show you how much I have so far but it's so kind of like nice to touch we have some shape of some flower it's a lot of beaten here yet but it's a very partial design so I love it I love it very satisfying All right see you in a sec good morning it's Sunday hi Kono his name Kono I'm still babysitting him till 19 Here's Bandit, and all the way up there, all the way up there. Hey, Prince! Oh, mm. pretty, pretty puppy. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Kind of springy looking outside, but here it is. Those little guys so tired me out last night that I was lazy to edit this video and upload for you. So yes, it's a Sunday and this video will be late. And I thought, okay, maybe you can forgive me because I already have a one video today on my channel. So we were stitching with you in here. As you can see, I managed to do a little bit more. I went to a second flower already. And then I did a little bit more progress in here. It's not as fast as I would love to do, but with what I have around here to work and try to find the time for the peace and quiet, I think that's already a little, like not bad progress. Love the way these beads look all together. It's so satisfying to see them kind of like 3D. And yeah, that's the five colors that I have. Lots of beads. Oh, puppy, don't touch cat. So yes, this is, let me, okay, I have a needle in here pen. Let me take this away. For those who did not see this design, I just want to show you how this look like in full. There, all those uh, birds up there, background is just a printed canvas. Don't have to stitch, so it's a partial, just the sunflowers and that's it. That's what we're going to stitch. But I will be finishing this uh, canvas this year. We'll stitch little by little. We'll do a few more stitching together with you because it seems like some people seeing this for the first time, some people never try it. And it's fun, it's fun. And uh, beads nice because of this check beads in here, this design, Ukrainian design. All right, so that's the final thoughts and we'll see if I will have emergency one more diamond painting uh, final project today. I'm thinking about that yet uh, because I wanted to do it um, anyway. If it is, it's going to be on my channel today. If not, maybe some other time because I still have lots of things to do today. All right. I hope you like it. And it's not a bad project. Consider take me 23 minutes just to make a one line. So that's a few hours of work, you know. All right. Thank you, everyone, for stitching with me. And I will see you tomorrow with new videos.